What's up, we the bros, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be discussing some of the stuff that we've been working on for uh, GNCC Mid East and Coors Racing. If you guys know, those are the three places we want to race at in the up and coming 2023 season. So we're doing everything in our power to basically get to that point to get ready to roll. Uh, we're gonna, we've been working on Gracie's bike off camera, adjusting the RFY shocks, the stock shocks, and the Banshee 350 shocks that you guys probably have seen on the channel from the teardown video. Uh, but what we're going to be going into today is the optimal mount position for you guys to put a camera for GNCC. As you guys know, AMA is the uh, people that are over GNCC and Mideast, so because of that you can't have a camera on your face. So, to appease the people who have the rules, we're going to basically work on the optimal place to put them out and how we're going to do it, and we're going to go through all of that today in today's video. So, let's pray for today's video, and I'll show you guys the mock-up for the Suzuki, and we'll explain how we did it, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the 2020, and we'll talk with Andrew about his 06 before we do it. Because, yeah, if he doesn't want his camera where it's at, then we'll have to see how that's going to work out. So, anyway, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for the opportunity to uh, use the brain power that you've blessed us with to do all these cool and amazing things. I pray that you continue to bless the channel with all the stuff that we you've blessed us with so far. And I pray that you watch over us and keep us safe as we race, as we ride and practice and all these wonderful things you've given us the opportunity to do. In your holy and precious name I pray. Amen. Let's go check out the Suzuki. <laughs> So this is the 2003 Suzuki LTZ 400. As you guys know, it's the beautiful yellow machine on the channel. Well, a couple things you guys should know before we move into the explanation of what we've done so far. Number one, these are not OEM. These are OEM. <laughs> As you guys know, we added the Pro Taper to it, so that way it added a different feel to it, and I think it matches the bike really well. Uh, these are actually the old bars that used to be on the... Um, 2020 all the way over there before I updated the flex um, So because of that there's nothing special about it. There's just risers that we used um, And I think I still have the link for those so the rocks, ROX, the, the rocks. Were they Amazon or were they eBay? No, that was Amazon. It was Amazon. Okay. I'll try and go back through and find that link for you guys yeah. but um no, the name of them is right there. Oh right there Oh, it's too dark. Wait Nope, that's darker there we go. Speed FX Art. Yep. Mm hmm. That's an acronym. You guys can read that. I'm not going to read it for you. Anyway, so we relocated. Well, I say we. He relocated all of his key switch fobs, the lights, and all that wonderful stuff. There's the key switch over here. Also, that's really bright. From this? From that, which was the original. Today. That went on to here, and then all the way to here. So that means whenever you cut it on, the neutral light, the engine light, and the reverse light right here, which is right there as oh, right there as well. So because of that, we use this this piece right here. This it's kind of like a thick piece right there to um, to mount that on there. And it, this is just a a metal aluminum alloy that we have mounted backwards. So that way, when we put the GoPro on it, it'll be facing this way, that kind of thing. Um, I'll put it on it so we can mock it up for you guys, and I'll also try and see if I can find it, and if I can't find it, then I'll just try and um, look for what I can for that. But yeah, let me get all the stuff set up for this, and I'll show you guys how we have this mounted up, and we'll see what you guys think. Alright, so here is the Hero 9 that we have on the channel, with its aluminum case that we bought off of um, Amazon. I uh, haven't had a chance to test this product officially, uh, but after Andrew's unfortunate, well... I mean, there's no way to put it without bluntly saying he bounced his face off of his handlebars and the camera came off. So after that, we found it abundantly necessary to have it, number one, mounted, and number two, in a protective case. So I'll try and link that in the description as well, so that way you guys can, if you want to, um, have a protective case for your cameras as well. Uh, the, something that I found out that I really enjoyed with this is that since it's a case that is, like, wrapped around it, you can still do all of the functional things you want to do with the camera while it's still in the case. So technically, I don't even have to take that off at all. And it's also able, you're also able to do stuff with, so you can also do stuff with the uh, Max Lens Mod that we showed here on the can uh, channel, that we showed here on the channel. I can't speak apparently, because you can take that off easily and then put it on. 
so that way it works out. Um, we haven't had a chance to test this yet. That'll probably be in the next up and coming videos. Get two perspectives with um, his and mine, and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so far it's been pretty sturdy. All you have to do is just tighten it on. And since both the case and also the um, and also the mount is metal, you can tighten as much as you want to, and it shouldn't shouldn't break. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to the installation part on the 2020. All right, welcome back. So if you see this little, I guess, would it be classified as a screw? Yes. So you see the screw in, uh, in my hand? It's very small. Very, very small. In, and it's Allen head. Yeah, it's an Allen head, which tends to be more sturdy. Okay, so what I was going to do is I was actually putting a quarter 20, which is the piece, the, the screw screw size to go into the, what do, what do you call these? Uh, they're just... GoPro mounts? Yeah, I, right, they're so, metal. Yeah, and these are metal because so, we didn't want to break anything, especially because we're going from a <coughs> face mount to something solid that's going to be moving and bouncing and jumping all around. So I bought these to go in this. This is what I used on the on the Suzuki. Suzuki's got a lot of clearance around the front. And so does the Honda around the front end to where you could you, we could use these. Well, I ran into a problem on the 2020. So I got to looking at it. We got we, we mocked this up. We looked at it and said, all right, well, this is a flat section. This is a flat section. This is somewhat flat, somewhat flat, and nothing else on here, and everything's pointed downward. So I was like, well, I got to come up with something. I got to I got to figure out what I can do. So I got and I knew they had I knew they made something smaller, and this is the smallest thing I could get my hands on. So, and it worked out. Even though it's tapered a lot, as you can see. It looks almost like a uh, actual it's, screw it's coned, head. It's cone shape. So I put it on, my, drilled the hole where Will said he wanted to do it because I wasn't drilling any holes on this thing until he said, okay, that looks good. So I put it on and it was still stuck up. So what I did is I took a washer to where the cone shape would actually go inside the washer and keep everything flat uh, a flat surface as you can see on on this one there's a this plate is on top of another this plate around the foil the shroud shrouds is that how you pronounce it i guess anyway, i don't know so we had issue here because this is a flat surface these wouldn't gonna work because it'd make it stick way up so that's why i needed something flat so as you can see now, once I get it in place, back to where it was, back in place and locked in position because it goes in with plastic pieces on the edges all the way around and then locks into place. And once you bolt these down, it won't go nowhere. The plastic's actually nice, smooth, looks identical. So I think that will work perfect. The only disadvantage to us racing the Raptor for GNCC is that if you guys wanted to do something with the 450, we don't know. But yeah, obviously, if you guys have one at home, you guys can either confirm or deny in the comment section down below. That's the beauty of YouTube, is that the people watching can also contribute. So yes. feel free, if you guys have a YFZ 450 and you can confirm that if you take the faceplate off of it, that it's still the same style mechanism, then that would be awesome. Uh, yes. Just let us know. And it would be really good information <coughs> because eventually we'll end up owning a 450 and I need to know, well, I mean, I'll, do, I'll figure it out myself. I mean, there's probably forms list that you guys can get a part of to, for us to check as well. Um, but just, just in case, if you guys know, feel free to let us know. That would be awesome. Yeah, because I'd love to know if it worked out for somebody else. That would be awesome. Alright, so this is what it looks like um, with the camera on it right now. He did the turn while we did that little B-roll shot there. So hopefully you guys did get a good idea of what it looks like. Um, obviously, we're going to try and test it for you guys here. We just have to move a couple things because, you know, in South Carolina you buy plants. And when you buy plants, they're made for South Carolina. It's, it's cold. So we have to move them. 
So we're gonna try and get our jungle forest thing out the way and after that let's try and see what that looks like and we'll do a full testing video when we get out to the farm try and do some high speed stuff see if it rattles see what happens because um, if we do testing here before we go to a race then we'll have it prepared and ready to roll for that but I definitely am satisfied with it the aesthetic looks really cool um, like it matches well so if it wasn't for the fact that we know it's there probably wouldn't notice it underneath it so it vibrates well no i put the washer underneath it so in case it vibrated so much it wouldn't pull up throw it pull it through the plastic right it gives you a little bit more support underneath it. and it's tight but it's going to it's going to move have you tried a faster speed no not really uh take it down the driveway and turn it up So we tested a little bit, it didn't come off, that's good. Um, obviously we'll have to review the footage and do an outro to recap our thoughts. But uh, that's a pretty good mock-up of it. So um, yeah, uh, not gonna do too much of an outro here, but if you guys did enjoy the footage, uh, since you've already seen it so far, then, then uh, check out some of the stuff in the description. But obviously we'll wrap up the video in just a bit, so yeah. Welcome back everybody, uh, we just got a chance to record the outro uh, for the video where we basically showed off the um, the 700 and with the uh, new mounts we're going to be using for racing, the uh, GoPro racing mounts we just made. Uh, of course, I tried to link all the stuff in the description down below. If it's down there, then that's awesome. If it's not down there and you want to know specifically what we're doing and what we have, then shoot me a comment or whatnot or DM us on social media whatever you see fit and I'll try and get it to you as quickly as possible uh, I try and stay on top of stuff like this but if I miss it uh, that's my fault uh, so anyway we got a chance to look at the footage and we think that the viewing atmosphere of it was phenomenal very good uh, chef's kiss but the audio sucked dookie trash big time like sitting there rattling so we're going to be doing a testing video, we're going to compare the um, the case itself, we're going to do a, uh, a ride out of the farm, and we're going to do the media mod, and then we're going to do it by itself. Uh, we're going to do those three comparisons to see which one looks good, and while we're out there we're also going to test the Suzuki camera angle as well, because we added them out for that one, and hopefully if Andrew can get his bike running again, then we could do that as well. Uh, that's foreshadowing for another video on our channel that's going to be coming out, so be sure to go check out that video. Uh, it's, I mean... So, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's going to be funny whenever it comes out, so be sure to stay posted for that. Subscribe if you're new to stay posted for that, because that's, it's, it's being held up with a, a darn orange hammer. So, I mean, I, I, I definitely think you guys are going to enjoy that video, so if you only want to stick around for just that, and it works for me. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next upcoming videos, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. Shout out my homies, we gon' pop for them trophies. Yeah, we gon' pop.
can't hold me, thinking God, I've been chosen Go through the motions, all them times, I was hopeless Now we the coldest Look, I've been trying to tell y'all since like one three Got my soul up in the trunk, and my God got the key Spirit trying to talk